Realby.com of Brad Magazine here, and I'm with Coach David Pringle of the Southside Cowboys. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Miss Real? I'm doing wonderful. Excellent. And Excellent. I wanted to uh, thank you for the opportunity for the interview so uh, you can give my readers an insight onto who the Southside Cowboys are, the wonderful uh, young men that you're actually coaching, and what it is you guys have been doing the last couple of years. So thank you That's for the great. opportunity again. Yeah, I thank you very much again also. And can you tell us, who are the Southside Cowboys? Uh, we're an organization uh, affiliated with American Youth Football. We're out of Sunnyside, Texas. Uh, our organization has been around for roughly 12, 13 years. Uh, there's three of us that founded the Southside Cowboys back in 1998. Uh, we are kind of a humble organization. We started small, but we've grown and uh, become very successful in what we do in the Sunnyside community. Thank you so much. And what motivated you guys to uh, coach and lead this team? I would have to say it's just a way of giving back. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of youth out there in, in that area and around around the country. Period that are susceptible to society at uh, the age groups that, you know, we endeavor out there. Um, being predominantly an African-American organization, it's it just means a lot to us to be able to reach out and give them another out, show them that there's other ways to be successful in life besides, you know, what can be out there offered to them, you know, just by sight. Uh, you know, just seeing other other older boys who aren't going anywhere, haven't, you know, completed school or anything like that possibly, and not, you know, not taking the wrong direction, the right, you know, trying to get them on the right path of life. Uh, we're not, I'm not saying we're role models or we're all perfect men out there, but we try to give, like I said, we try to give them another out. Uh, you know, we always tell them to put God first, go to school, take care of home, and football is an extracurricular activity. It's just, you know, it's like icing on the cake. Well, kudos to you for offering something extracurricular. Uh, I definitely feel the same way in regards to things that our youth can get into that will be a little bit more positive than some of the things that they see, even on just the influences from uh, the media side of life as well. But I think it's important, and for me, that sounds like a major goal that each community should have, and it sounds like it's showing or leading the way. How can children be a part of it? Uh, we're we're very easy to connect with. Uh, we're large in the community. We're right there at Sunnyside Park. If uh, parents or children were interested in the Southside Cowboys, they can always go to our website, uh, www.southsidecowboy.com. We're we're uh, we're very visible in the community. We do a lot of fundraising. Uh, we you know we try to hand out you know during the summer sessions of practice. We the coaches you know the board members we all go out and we solicit kids. We go to apartment complexes and put out flyers. Uh, you know to our jobs we we solicit some of the schools. You know we make sure that. Uh, we're able to that they don't mind us coming to the schools and we go and leave flyers before school lets out for the summer. And we, we, you know, we do whatever access, you know, whatever means I should say we have to be able to reach out to the kids. And word of mouth has probably been our best uh, uh, way of uh, communicating with the kids. And I think that's because of our success because kids love to be part of uh, of something that's positive, and, and they really do, and they love to be part of something that's, you know, especially in sports, athletics, is that's a winning program. I definitely agree. What are the times of your program? Uh, for instance, when are kids, I guess, available to utilize the program for those that are in school or they do need something extracurricular? Uh, well, we start with a mini camp of, uh, which we do, we put on ourselves. We put usually try to do one in May, 
and then one in June, which will lead into uh, summer practices, which start in July. Um, and our times are usually, you know, probably I, I would have to say 6.30 to 8.30, the uh, mini camps. So we try to do those for a week in May, like I said. And then for a week in June also, toward the end of June, that way we we, we have people out there. We set up tables and we have different uh, stands where they will come. They'll, you know, perform different activities that are, you know, athletic related. And, uh we also, we, you know, when they come to our mini camps, we have someone that's always, you know, taking their names and phone numbers, try to get, you know, always try to have two contact numbers because nowadays everybody has a cell phone and, you know, it seems to like if one number is cut off, you know, we'd like to have a, a second contact number. So, it, it, you know, that's that's one way that we are able to get the kids to come out, you know, offering the free mini camp. And then once the season starts, there's always a fee because, we have to pay league fees, insurance dues to the league, uh, you know, purchase equipment sometimes. We're trying not to lose much equipment so we don't have to purchase much the following season. But uh, there, there is a league fee that's always uh, has to be paid through the organization. Well, that's understandable. And congrats mm-hmm. again. Uh, 2013 AYL Championship, I heard you guys, uh, you took that and it was bittersweet due to a loss that you guys also incurred at the time. Uh, yes, ma'am. This uh, this season was, it was it was a rough season for us uh, because of one of our very, very dear friends, Miss Rachel Barron. Uh, she was diagnosed Oh, I'm going to have to say sometime last year with uh, breast cancer. And she uh she she fought and she was uh she was just I mean a fabulous person and about it's been maybe a month now that we lost her. Her uh her sons, she has two sons that well she has three sons and a daughter actually. But uh they all've been through our organization. That's how long she's been with us. And uh, two of them played this year, and the one uh, division that won the national championship, that's our cadet level, which consists of 10- and 11-year-old boys. Uh, we uh, we lost her probably three weeks prior to going to Florida, and uh, it, was, it was hard. It was hard. We didn't really know how he was going to react, how we were going to react, because she was a big part of our family, of our Southside Cowboy family. But... Um, he 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 played like a champion. He he did everything, and I think we did everything as an organization that she would have wanted us to do. She wouldn't wanted us us to have uh, not gone or put put anything on hold because she, she was she was a diehard Southside Cowboy uh, member, and she was just I mean a lovely lovely beautiful person would just do anything for you. And uh, she is definitely, definitely dearly missed. And her, she, we always had shirts made up that said "Fight Like a Girl." And uh, while we were down there in Florida, we we represented Breast Cancer Awareness Month in in her honor by wearing uh, pink. And a lot of people asked us why, and a lot of people were really excited about the reason why we were doing that. And it and it, and it showed in our play. We we played our hearts out. And we know that uh, Rachel was there with us. My condolences to Isaac and the rest of his siblings. Um, I heard that he did play very, very, very excellent. And his determination for uh, being in attendance and playing to win with that recent loss does show a lot. So um, my heart is just extended out to that family just because that is something very tragic. And for all of them to have played a major part in this, um, I'm just very touched by that. And um, I think that you guys do a wonderful job in in retrospect because uh, I'm not familiar with exactly Sunnyside, Texas, but I have a few friends that are familiar with the area, and they Mm -hmm. understand the struggle. So they're very wowed by the fact that, you know, an organization was started by uh, people who actually do care about communities, and they want to show something different. So it's very nice to know that that's something you can lead 
others with. And this story definitely will be something to touch, not only just the awareness on breast cancer and give a little insight on how uh, you can take something that is so tragic and also then use that blessing that was given to the spirit of his mother basically has been with these guys. And that's a good thing to have as the team mom. So um, there's a lot of things that people will be able to hopefully take and uh, mimic in their areas to give a little assistance because every little bit does help. So for those who don't have their parents or no longer have their parents, or for those who um, have to transition through single parent homes or uh, whatever the case may be, uh, they actually do have an outlet in your area that they'll be able to deliver something positive in an extracurricular level. So I just give you a whole bunch of kudos because that takes a lot. So you not only just take on your regular life, but you also take on others and you are a leader. You guys are very superior and that just shows a lot of strength and leadership. And we, we thank you very much for that. Uh, our our motto is we don't turn any kid away because even, you know, having a, a, a league, a, a, I mean, I should say a fee to play football is $150, but we always give opportunities uh, for the families to raise, you know, money by popcorn sales or, you know, whatever, by fundraising. You have, make sure your, your child shows up to fundraisers. and we But we, we do whatever we can not to turn kids away. And, that's that's been a blessing I think to us because people see the effort we put in and and they they appreciate that so they they support that and they're out there with us hand in hand and <clears throat> excuse me back to Rachel you know she like like I say she's been she was with us you know for I know at least ten years because you know this, this was just a year we won a, a national championship and her son. It was part of it, and he he's been out there since he's Isaac's been out there. Isaac and Jacob, they're twins. Uh, they've been out there since uh, I can, as long as I can remember, since they've been like four, starting out at flag, and all along the way we've we've won in football. This is our sixth uh, national championship in foot in uh, excuse me, our fifth national championship in football, and we also have one in uh, our cheer program, which we won. Uh, we were the first African all all African American um, cheer program in youth sports to win uh, a national championship that year. So we've we've been successful not only in football but in cheer also. And like I say, it's it's just we don't as much as we love the kids to realize that football is a it's a it's a great release. It's a great outlet, but. You know, it's not all about football. It's about being, and I, I don't want to, like I say, I don't want to use the term, uh, you know, as a role model, but as a mentor, we, we, we you know, we, we try to be there for the kids. Like you say, they come from single-parent homes, might not have a father in the home or whatever, just, just as an outlet because young men need a man in their life. You know, I I give Great props to what mothers do, single parent moms, because of their, their struggle, their fight to, to make things happen for their kids. But a young man needs a male figure to to look up to because there's there's just things that we do as men that young men need to absorb. Some things that moms just can't get through to them, or may not be able to you know teach them, or the kids, some boys may not want to feel comfortable talking to their moms about it. But we, we try to be there for them in whatever way possible. I mean, it's just you know, there's there's we we try to if we have kids in our organization that have, that have troubling uh, financial issues, say during this time of year, Christmas coming up, you know, we as board members try to get people to help out, pitch in, and we we take gifts to homes. We we just we just try to show them that you know we love you. I, I guess that's that's the easiest thing to say is you know we love them. We love these kids. And I say that comfortably, knowing the men that are around us, what we do, what we, you know, our progress, our outcome, and it, it's just it's just a really good thing that we do with the Southside Cowboy family. Well, blessings to you guys. Um, if there is anyone that is wanting to donate, uh, whether it's gifts for this time of the season where you guys are giving back or the future or there's uh, financial donations that they can provide, 
Where can we find more information in regards to contacting uh, either you or any of the other founders that would be able to assist the community with helping us help you? Oh, that that would first of all that would be a blessing. And I'm I'm out there. We're we're all on Facebook. Uh, we have our website. We uh, like I say we're we're just. Well, I think it's very easy to contact if they go to www.southsidecowboy.com. Uh, like I say, I'm on, I'm on Facebook. Our president Kevin Walker, he's on Facebook. Almost our whole, you know, <laughs> most of, most of our organization has a Facebook page because uh, you know we we uh, we put a lot of things out there for people to see our successes. But uh, yeah, our website is probably if you you know go to our website and wanna join us on Facebook, uh, Southside Cowboys. Um, it's it's that would probably be the simplest way. Uh, I could always, you know, give you my phone number if, if that would help out. And, you know, people could call me. We could, you know, just do whatever means necessary to make things happen. I definitely will get that information just to uh, relay that again. But I do understand the website and the Facebook, so we'll go ahead and um, definitely have this to be a part of something great for the future purposes. Uh, I think that people help out regardless of how, much it is or how many people, but the story alone is just enough for the effort. And uh, we appreciate you again, and I'll just say that for me and my readers. Um, Is there anything else that you wanted to say to your community, uh, your boys, uh, any of your partners or anyone else that's involved with your community that has helped you throughout this uh, journey that you guys have had? Well, I I would really start out probably with my partners, uh, Kevin Walker, who is our president, Tony Kennedy, who is our treasurer. Uh, those two men and myself are the, the three original members of left of the Southside Cowboys. Uh, they're they're fabulous, fabulous men. I love them like my own brothers. Uh, and then just to the as far as the community, don't ever give up. Don't ever give up because. There's so much out there, and there's kids are so susceptible to society nowadays, especially young African men, African American men. Uh, they're so susceptible to society, so easily detoured, and I just, I just want people to know that you know, we're like I, I and I, I can't say it enough. I, I'm not a role model, but I'm, I, I'm there. We're there. Our organization is there to help young men and women to develop and to become something better, something greater, because it, it's there for you. You just, But you, you you have to, like and I said earlier, put God first, go to school, get educated, take care of your business at home. Uh, and as long as and as long as long I've been coaching, I, and I tell this to my parents, to my coaches, to people that come to our organization, and on and, and Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Friday. Those two, those is between six thirty and eight eight thirty in the evenings. Your kids are in very well taken care of, good hands because I know where they are. You know where they are. They're with us, and then all days on Saturdays, and it, and, it, and that means a lot to me to be able to hone them in, get them focused, and let them know that they're in good hands. They're loved. That we're going to go out here. We're going to teach you something. We're going to show you something, and 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 take it and run with it. We have a few coaches out there with us that played for us as young men, and now they're, they've come up through the ranks of our organization. They're grown men now, and they, they, they came out, and they're, they're coaching, taking up, because myself and Kevin and Tony and the other coaches, we have, we have, you know, we're, we have a few years left in us, and, you know, we want our organization in good hands, and I think the best way for our organization to be in good hands is to come up through the ranks, know what we're about, and these young fellas that played for us over the years and now are out there coaching, I just, I can't be any more grateful to them than, you know, I, I just don't know what to say about them. They're just great young men that are coming up and knowing what it takes, and they're giving back, and that just to me shows that we did something positive. I had one young man, I was working at one of the plants out in Baytown, and I got out of my car one morning, and I heard a 
a voice said, Coach Pringle? And I said, yeah. And I didn't really recognize him. And he got a little closer, and he said, it's Sonny. And I said, Sonny Quarles. He said, yeah. And he said, uh, I just want to thank you. He said, I know we played a lot of football. You, you were a great coach for us and stuff. He said, but I want to thank you because my dad wasn't around. And you showed me what it takes to be a man. And that there is such a, just a grasping moment. It, it almost, it, it brought tears in my eyes. And when I think about it now, it still does. But that right there is enough to make you realize how much, how much worth it is to what we do. And as many national championships as we've won, as many games as we've won, there's nothing like being invited to a graduation to a boy, that, to a young man or a young woman that's come up through the ranks of our organization to see him walk across the stage and get the diploma. To me, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. It's, a, it's about success because that way it, it, you can see that you've reached out, you've touched, and you've helped develop, and you've done something more than just football. And that's what our program is really about. When we talk to the boys, we let them know that they are truly, truly blessed to be able to play football. Um, there's children, there's young boys, young men, young women in Texas Children's Hospital and MD Anderson, you know, that aren't able to do the things that you're able to do as a young man. So you need to take advantage of this, grasp it, and run with it because there's a lot of kids that would love to be in the situation you are for whatever reason it may be. So that's we just got to let them know how, how much God has blessed them, how much God has blessed us. And it just it's just a blessing in itself to be able to do what we do. And it just it's a good, good feeling. As it should be. And uh, the last question that I have for you is, um, what does it mean to you to be real every day and deliver? Be real every day and deliver. I really, I really like that. To me, that means <laughs> just being able to, to, to give, to be able to accept, to be able to show your worth, and to let your worth carry over into somebody else's life. Uh, it's just, I, I mean, when you told me that's what it stood, what bread stood for, I was like, that is, that's really, really awesome. It's be real every day and deliver. I believe if you be real every day and deliver, there's nothing you can achieve in life because you, you're putting that, you're putting all the right things in order. You have to have order in your life, and if you put all the right things in order, and you follow them up. There's no reason in the world you can't deliver everything it is. And always keep it real. Keep it real. Because there ain't no need out here trying to keep up some facade and be something you're not. Be you. Get accepted. People love you for what you are. And, and, and just like you say, deliver. Thank you so much, Coach. Uh, this has definitely been a pleasure of mine. And I will make sure that on my end that I'm able to give you the best quality I can on this interview so you can take this and not only keep it for your record, but also just some reminder that uh, there are people out there that they they hear your story and they're definitely intrigued. So I, however we can get this story out there and better assist you, we will. And for those who would like to donate, I believe you said the website is www.southsidecowboys.com. Yes, ma'am. All right. And if you well, we'll be more than number, happy to get that out there. And if you'd like my phone number, I will, I'll be more than glad to give it to you. They can always contact me anytime, uh, you know, leave a voice message, where it may be. But uh, we're, we're always looking for some help because it, it financially we it, it, it does get very tough for us. But we, there's, we always, I ain't going to say we always make a way. God always makes a way for us. He makes it possible for things to happen for us because sometimes stuff hits us right in our lap and we'll be like, wow, where'd this come from? It only came from one place, and that's God. So I, I thank you so much 
this is this, I think this is probably one of the best things that's happened to our organization in a while, getting some publicity. And I, and I really believe this this could make a difference, or it will make a difference. Let's say that. It will make a difference in our organization, and I hope it makes a difference in the community so we can be more grateful for y'all. And, uh, well, y'all are definitely already making that, and I can only just pray that we continue to help. And I hope that there's many blessings that you'll receive future forward just off of the strength of not only people knowing who you are, but uh, this will definitely be something that will be my honor to go ahead and assist you with. So thank you again for the opportunity, and it's certainly been my pleasure. It's realty.com of Bread Magazine, and this is Coach David Pringle of the Southside Cowboys. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ruby. You have a great day. You too, sir. Thank you.